Hello everyone, my name is Yaroslav Golubev and I would like to tell you about Sorrel, an ID plugin for managing licenses and detecting license incompatibilities. Open source licenses constitute a complex system. Currently there are more than 400 different open source licenses and they are not all compatible with each other. Research shows that a lot of developers do not fully understand the peculiarities of open source licenses and the differences between them, which can lead to them committing license violations. Large companies can consult legal teams to deal with licensing questions. However, small teams and individual developers do not have this luxury and have to deal with licenses themselves. There are various tools that can detect licenses, but firstly, they usually do not provide a convenient way of detecting incompatibilities, and secondly, these tools are usually separate from an IDE, so the developers have to go out of their way to use them. Therefore, our goal is to help small teams and individual developers by providing them with a tool that can help them manage their licenses and detect incompatibilities right within the IDE. To do this, we have developed Sorrel, a plugin for IntelliJ IDEA that works with Java projects. Firstly, Sorrel gets the list of project modules from the IntelliJ platform and then detects licenses in them. For that, Sorrel processes license texts. The plugin comes with two different detectors. Firstly, a machine learning classifier that we trained, and if it cannot recognize the license, a detector based on the Sorensen dice coefficient. Both detectors together support 16 most popular open source licenses in Java projects and can be easily extended in the future. Then the plugin gathers the list of all the libraries used in the project and detects their licenses. The plugin can do this in three ways. From the license text located in the JAR archive, similar to how it's done for modules, from the file with the meta information, and from an online service package search, in the case if there is no information about the license in the library itself. Having this information, the tool can detect license incompatibilities in the project, and if the project has no license, Sorrel can also suggest a license that would be compliant with all the used libraries. The plugin also provides some other helpful functionality for managing licenses, so let's now see it in action. As an example, we will consider a simple Gradle project. This project contains two modules, main and test. Let's open the Gradle configuration file and see what libraries are used in this project. This list shows direct dependencies. For all of them, Sorrel adds a license directly into the Gradle file for the convenience of the user. Such hints are implemented for Maven, Groovy Gradle and Kotlin Gradle scripts. Let's now open the license tool window for the project. The project license tab shows the information about the detected project license and the detected incompatibilities. As you can see, this project has no license, so the plugin shows a lot of incompatibilities for both modules. Let's fix this. As we said earlier, the plugin can create a license for a module or for the entire project and select the license that will be compatible with all the libraries. This way, even an unexperienced developer can deal with licenses in their project. As you see, the tool created an Apache 2.0 license for the project and the information in the tool window was immediately updated. Now this tab shows a short description of the license among with its main features. All the incompatibility issues were dealt with. The second tab shows the detailed information about the licenses of libraries. It shows a list of libraries among with their licenses and allows to search or filter them. Also, for each library, links to GitHub or homepage are provided. Let's go back to the Gradle script. Let's add another library to the project. We rebuild the Gradle project and the license of the new library appears. Also, we can see that the plugin discovered a new violation between the copyleft GPL 3.0 license of the library and the permissive Apache 2.0 license of the project. Let's change the license so that it would adhere to all the constraints of its libraries. To do this, we will use a special panel that the plugin provides when the license file is open in the editor. This panel has a drop-down menu so that the license can be changed in several simple clicks. Also, the licenses that are compatible with all the libraries are marked by a green tick. We can select the same GPL 3.0 license that the library uses so that there are no more problems. You can see that all the information in the tool window changed accordingly and there are no more violations. This way, the licenses can be conveniently changed. Also, if the license text is changed, Sorrel can show the diff between the current text of the license and its default text. This can be useful for tracking small changes to copyrights or other similar changes. Overall, we hope that Sorrel can be useful for developers, facilitate better knowledge of licenses, and allow them to avoid making mistakes and violations. You can find the GitHub repository with Sorrel by following this QR code. Thank you for your attention.